Welcome to Butt Stuff Fridays. I'm Virtual Val and I'm going to be your virtual butt stuff coach for the rest of your life. So get used to it, all right? It's the first episode, which means I gotta come at you strong with the very best butt stuff there is. The Mac Daddy of butt stuffs, Barbell Glute Bridges, also known as hip thrusts, also known as the most awkward exercise you could do in the gym. But fuck that shit. We don't care about that. Nobody cares if you're thrusting your genitals into the air. You're gonna get it done because it's probably one of the best glute engagement exercises. And that's what we're looking for. It's worth it. So stop giving a fuck what other people are saying and get ready to hump the air. So to get started for today's exercise, you are going to need a bench. You are going to need a barbell with some plates. And last, but certainly not least, you're gonna wanna get yourself a barbell foam pad. It slips right onto the barbell just like this. And let me tell you why you need this. I can't tell you a lot about math and I can't tell you a lot about the properties of these materials. But what I can tell you is that this bar is 65 pounds total, 45 pounds, just the bar, two 10 pound plates on the end. That's 65 pounds of metal thrusting into your genitals every single time you do a rep. It is not comfortable. I promise you will not like it. And on top of that, it's possible to get pelvic bruising from the barbell if you're not used to it. Now, I don't know how you're gonna explain pelvic bruising to your sexual partners, but my job is not to help you with your love life. It's to teach you how to do this exercise. So listen to me and get one of these pads. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you how to thrust your hips with just your body weight before you throw weight on your body and fuck your life up. So let's make sure we have the form right because there's a lot of very important cues that I'm gonna give you right now, so please make sure you're paying attention. Start seated with your elbows placed up on the bench. When you come off of the ground, the bench is gonna come right at the lower part of your shoulder blade. This is a little bit different for everybody, but generally speaking, you wanna go right under the shoulder blade. Find that little sweet spot that works best for you. As for your legs, you want about a 90 degree angle in your knees, which means your ankles are going to be directly below your knees and you're going to have a vertical shin. You'll see a lot of weird placements. There are different ways to do butt stuff, okay? This is not the end all be all butt stuff. I'm just telling you how I do butt stuff with myself and how I partake in butt stuff with friends to really maximize the engagement on just the glutes. I'm not looking for hamstrings. I'm not looking for quads. I'm looking for the butt stuff, the good stuff, all right? So again, we're gonna come up. Bench is right at the lower part of my shoulder blades. Very important in this, vertical shins, so we engage mostly the glutes. And then lastly, we're gonna tuck our chin to our chest. The important part here is that you keep your spine in line and we don't arch our back. Let me show you what I do not wanna see. I do not wanna see this number, flailing our hips into the air and looking up at the sky. There's a huge arch in my back. Arching your back might be cute for butt stuff in the bedroom, but it's not fucking cute for butt stuff in the gym. So you wanna tuck your pelvis and keep your core tight to stabilize your spine and engage the glutes and get the most out of this exercise. Let me show you the right way to do it. Tuck your chin to your chest. We're gonna drop our hips towards the floor. They don't have to touch the floor. And then we're going to come up, tucking our pelvis and squeezing our glutes at the top. If you see, I don't have a huge lift here. I'm not bringing my hips up to the ceiling. I am tucking them under and squeezing my glutes. Dropping down, tuck your hips, squeeze, chin to chest. I'm looking down at my knees. and making sure that our knees don't buckle in. You wanna keep your knees out as you come up. No arch in the back, all pelvic tilt at the top to really get the burn. And I suggest you do these without weight to start as just a warm up, even if you're going to add weight. Getting ready to start with the weight, you're gonna grab the barbell, slide it back onto your pelvis, place your elbows on the bench and pull your heels in towards your butt. Foot placement is different for everybody. I recommend shoulder width, but depends on a lot of different variables. So what you wanna do is play with the footing and find what works best for you and where you feel the most squeeze in your glutes 
alone at the top of the rep. From here, drive your elbows into the bench, grab onto the barbell at the top, otherwise it will wobble. You're gonna wanna stabilize this. Tuck your chin to your chest, lower down, hips are tucked under, pelvic tilt and squeeze the glutes at the top, lowering back down at the top of that rep. You wanna hold on for one to two seconds before lowering down at the bottom of that rep. That's where you're gonna get the most glute engagement, right at the top. Noticing that at the top, my shins are vertical and I'm not far forward with my feet. I'm not too far back with my feet because we want this to be isolated in the glutes, not the hamstrings or anywhere else. Lowering down, straightening out your leg and sliding the weight off of you. The barbell glute bridge is my all time favorite butt stuff exercise. You can do anything with it. You can load the bar and do high weight, low reps. You could do high reps, low weight. Any goal you have, you can get it done. Power, strength, building size, all gets done with the barbell glute bridge. To the better butt stuff movement 2020. Because when it comes to things like this, I'm a coach you can trust. My name is Virtual Val and I endorse this butt stuff.